Hi guys and welcome back to Bite Size Excel. In this video we're going to learn how to create a randomly generated list of names based on an existing list of names. Now this might be useful in instances where say you want to create a randomized data set for training purposes that shows say these are all your salespeople and you want a list with their names randomly generated with some random numbers with it. And to do this we're going to use the rand array function. Now, if you've not seen my previous videos on the RAND functions, I'll link to them in the description below. This will explain the basics of these functions and give you an understanding of how they work. However, for this video, what we're going to do is we're going to build up our function in parts. And to make it a bit easier, what I'm first going to do is I'm going to come to my home tab and I'm just going to format this list as a table. Now, we'll start with the RAND array bit of our function. So we're going to type equals RAND array. Now say I want 10 randomly generated names and we want them in one column and what we want our min and our max to be, we want our min to be 1 and we want our max to be the number of people in this list. So we're going to start with a 1 and then for our max we're going to use count A and we're just going to select this table. And then we're going to close our brackets and what that will essentially do is generate 20 and we want them to be whole numbers. And then we're going to close our brackets again. So what this has essentially done, it's generated random numbers between 1 and 20. And to make that instead return our names, now to make this work, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to wrap this rand array up inside an index function. So instead of returning numbers, it will return the name that corresponds to this number position in the list. So what we're going to do is we're going to wrap up our index. I'll also link to my video on the index function in the description below. Now what our array is, our array is actually this table. So we're going to click on this table here. And then the row number is that rand array function. So essentially the list of random numbers. And we don't actually need any of the column number or area number bits. So we can just close our brackets up and hit enter. And you'll see now that you get a list of randomly generated names. Now you might want to just say from this list, generate one name. Maybe you're doing a draw, so you can take that out. And you'll see you just have one name, but you might also want to use this, say, generate a random data set. So in that instance, you can say create 100 rows. And you could also use your rand array again to generate some figures to go alongside that. So rand array, we want 100 rows. We want one column. We want our minimum, say, to be 10,000 and our maximum to be 50,000. And we want those to be whole numbers. And there we go, we get our random list. We might want to format these. And we might want to format this, for example, as currency. And we'll take out our decimal places. Now you'll notice that every time I click on one of these cells and hit out the name, the list will update. So if you want this to remain static, you would need to copy it and paste special. But that's a quick way of generating a random list of names or other values, it doesn't have to be names, from an existing list. I hope that you found this video useful. Remember to like and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you in a future video.